right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight title fight between Al Jermaine Sterling and Henry the Messenger Cejudo. So here is the UFC champion, Henry Cejudo, took Olympic gold in Beijing back in 2008. This man is a winner in every sense of the world. He's an absolute winner, and he did win in 2008. But I say go back to 2007. When he walked into the world championship in Azerbaijan, Henry Cejudo was 34 of 35 guys in the weight class. Fast forward a year ahead, Amazing. he's the Olympic champion. But then that applies to Demetrius Johnson. He got beat by DJ the first time, knocked out in one round. Fast forward three years, he beats him by decision and becomes the UFC champion. Henry Cejudo is just a winner. And in a lot of respects, just getting started. We'll see how it goes for the messenger here tonight. Well, he has successfully defended the title, and that is the goal in front of him yet again tonight. The UFC's bantamweight champion of the world and not only does he believe he is the best right now, he believes he is the best 135-pound fighter of all time. If you want to be in that class tonight, certainly one this young man has got to have. this Bantamweight Championship fight. Sterling is 31, Cejudo is 33. Sterling will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, presenting the challenger, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Jermaine Funkmaster Sterling! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outfit. 
Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh, and the ankle flip to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice. Wow! Vicious combo there! Oh, straight right! Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacks, he secures, and on we go. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. Gotta defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Sound strike on the ground. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Cejudo. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Sterling's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Sterling's got the full mount. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. 20 seconds to go in round one. 15 seconds remain in the round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Sterling. for the end of round one. All right, five minutes more in the books, and you see the cut on his eyebrow is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash there. The cut man's gonna do what he can, but of course, oftentimes, as soon as you absorb another strike, that thing opens right back up. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay if you would.
a lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's Here go. we are, early round two. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by Cejudo. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. And he landed the right hand there. Sterling's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Cejudo. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Sterling's pass is denied. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Sterling's pass attempt denied. Both fighters get up now. So 93 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. And landing with 70% accuracy against Aljamain Sterling. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Fantastic takedown land. Oh, nice. Oh. He should be defending right now. Seconds now to go in round two. I mean, how many can he take? to go. Come on, guys, don't move. I'll stay up. All right, All right the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Finish this, guys. Come on. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 30 seconds remain in the round. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go, 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 go. Right, let's get back out here and work on that cut. He sliced the open good. There's a lot of blood. We can't go much longer. There it is. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He was trying to put himself back in that position, and maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so bad. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cejudo. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Sterling's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Cejudo. Sterling's back in full mount. Under three minutes remain in round three. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. I mean, how many can he take? Ground and pound strike is true. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Able to land the single ground strike there. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. Seconds remain in the round. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Well, how about these numbers, DC? Now 149 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. And pretty good connection rate as well, landing at 
76% thus far against Aljamain Sterling. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice elbow. Cejudo's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out. to go in the round. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Got the single collar tie. Beautiful strike. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, five minutes more in the books, and you see the cut on his eyebrow is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash there. The cut man's gonna do what he can, but of course, oftentimes, as soon as you absorb another strike, that thing opens right back up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at him with his hips into that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Sterling. Oh. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Cejudo. He can, oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. The problem rolling leg lock in MMA, man, is you get beat up, especially if you're a little bit hurt. Oh! Oh, now he's in trouble. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Now it's his mount. Three minutes to go. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Cejudo's so right back to the full mount. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Under two minutes now to go. Cover, 
Cejudo's back in full mount. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cejudo. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Seconds remain in the round. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 20 seconds left. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh! Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. What a round! All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Nice work that round. The striking looks awesome. Let's keep that up. I want to see accuracy right now. All right, next round getting underway here, and both nice fighters round, still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No free piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put... Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on the court. He is a master in transition. Oh, that's a good strike there by Stone. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. How about that shin? Nice jab, falls it up with a nice right hand. He landed a good uppercut there. Oh! And they separate. Cejudo gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Cejudo's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown may be coming. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Single collar tie now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 
Right hand lands flush for Sterling. That's a big hook. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, that is a high amplitude takedown right there, and it comes right after he caught the leg. So, back to his wheelhouse. Let's see how much more damage he can inflict. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Sterling. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Sterling. Connects with a right. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Oh, a little single oh, big knee. Tie there. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Oh, that right hand is on point. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, wow, oh! All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world, Henry the Messenger Tahu. So there it is. Don't look now, folks. We have a new UFC Bantamweight champion of the world, and this is going to be a night that he doesn't ever forget. He will never forget this night. He won the belt surrounded by his great coaches, his family, his friends, everybody will celebrate him in the effort that he put to 